Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies coming to you with some Orphan Barrel. Orphan Barrel, forged oak. 15 years. 15 years, can you believe it? Yeah, I know, they're saying they found it. That's a long it. time. They found it at Stitzer Weller in the Rick House. I don't know what that is. It's Stitzer uh, Weller. Yeah, it was a bourbon making company. Ah. So it sat there for a long time. They found it, resurrected it. Now, the other thing online, it says that this spent 15 contemplative years. <laughs> means it was thinking while it was in the barrel. In charred American white oak barrels. It's like you. So it's like a deep thinker. Yeah. Now, you're going to hear the clickety clack again, as you saw in one of the, uh, probably an episode of a couple, three weeks ago when you got Last kissed, week. kissed by the doll. Mauled. But uh, she's walking around and you're going to hear her toenails right there on the tile so she's been laying actually she's been she was laying down this whole time mm -hmm. until we start hit record right boom then when she lays down it's like a sack of potatoes mm. what do you get i get oak i get vanilla yeah i get vanilla mm. and maybe a little lemon mm just comes right up and punches you right in the nose. <laughs> it's a nose punch. I thought you were going to air punch me there for a second. <laughs> that was a good episode. I want to do a top uh, five episodes at some point. I know. Yeah. That'd be good. Huh? Just to send people back to the good ones. Uh, great rich color on the forged oak from spending 15 years in those yeah. barrels. Um, to me, on the nose, it smells like a bourbon. Hmm. Um, not like a really rich uh, cherry bourbon, but I get that oak, I get vanilla, a little bit of fingernail polish, hmm. and it smells rich though. Wow. I had the vanilla and a little lemon. So, hmm. On the taste, I get a little bit of like cocoa, definitely an oak. Hmm. And uh, oddly enough, right on the end finish, I get coconut. This is one when I take just a little sip and I've referred to it before in another episode in the matrix, like when uh, Keanu Reeves takes, swallows the pill and the, you see the liquid metal shot, how it like rises up through his throat, through his mouth and through his face. But this is in reverse. This happens. Now. No, it's the same with the oh. mouth. You take it and you sip it in and it just spreads through my mouth. Wow. Spread and, I, and I picture Keanu Reeves in that liquid metal shot. Just spreading just through your spreading mouth. Just spreading out when he goes down the rabbit hole. Oh, thought you pictured Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, uh, is that the favorite? Mm. I mean, out of, yeah. what's, what, what movie that he's in is your favorite? Is it Matrix? Well, it's kind of hard to beat Point Break. Now you read my mind. That's exactly <laughs> he, where I was going. Yeah, he, he was the quarterback. Yeah. yeah. He, he's the quarterback. You, you got uh, yeah. the surfing bank robbers mm -hmm. led by. Um, yes, I know. He smoked uh, too many cigarettes. Second, Val Kilmer. Nope. Uh uh. No. Red no. Dawn. Old oh, Rock. Patrick Swayze. Bingo. Wasn't Val Kilmer with him, though? I don't no? think he was in there, but uh, but Patrick Swayze is the lead in the bank Patrick robbing Swayze. crew. Patrick Swayze, yeah. And the girl is is, is uh, Keanu's intro mm -hmm. into the into the deal. Hmm. They would just surf. It's amazing the odd things surf. you remember. Yeah, I know, but that was funny. That's right where I was going to go. Last I mean, week at work, nothing. Nothing. Gone. Got it. Nope. Point Break. Patrick Swayze is a girlfriend. Got it. Boom. Remember it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I take the they skin off out my of chicken. The airplane. Then he didn't give him a shoot. I remember that. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. There was a big battle, and as they were falling. Huh. Yeah. So, and then he was like, you're crazy, man. Um, <laughs> the usual bourbon flavors in this, though, I think have been mellowed over over that 15 years. They're there, but they're just, it, it, it's really mellowed. It's really smooth. Right. Um, a lot more wood because of the there length is of the time that it's been in there. So, I mean, that was the big thing I took away from it. You can tell it spent 15 years in oak. Mm. So, but it is delicious. Now, you picked this up. Do you remember the price point? This was actually in Denver at Apple Jacks. Wow, another Apple One Jacks. of my trips, yep. And it's about an $80 bottle. Mm, I was going to say. Yeah. 15 years in it. And they found it in a 
little hidden part of a rick house somewhere um and i've heard that some people think some of the orphan barrel stuff is a little overrated a little overpriced i think this is hmm. worth it well yeah it's going to be rare i don't it's know probably, how many barrels they got or how many bottles they got out of it it's one of the better Cheers. bourbons i think i've had is it labeled on the bottle count no all right no. i thought maybe it was you know one of four thousand or so I gave it if a, we were in point break how many bottles were there would there be 69 <laughs> <laughs> that's an odd number just throwing it out there it seemed to work well Where would you come up with that hair. number his hair i gave it an 84. wow i still like it yeah um i will tell you that uh i don't know um i mean in my scotches i like a the smoke over the woody mm. scotches. And I think that's what I'm getting. There's so much oak in this. Um, but I, I mean, even in scotch, I don't, I mean, they're more expensive, but I don't like the 25 year bottles usually as much because I get so much more wood. Um, I mean, mm. so I think it's the same yeah. thing here. Oak, I, I like the oak, but it's not my favorite touch. So mm. that's why it's an 84, still great. Yeah. Um, some of the usual bourbon flavors, like I say, I think have mellowed over time and they've become so smooth with mm -hmm. this. Um, and I've also noticed as I, uh, the night that I sat and, and, and tested this, the longer this sat out, I'm talking 30 to 45 minutes, it really became much more um, palatable, much more smoother. Mm -hmm. See, I think the it's extremely were, smooth. I yeah. Mean, it is just feathery soft it's just uh, for me the only reason why i didn't climb as high is i'm not nearly as big a fan of of strong oaky taste no i love that what about if we took in packaging and this is great packaging if you look um they've got like a great big antlered uh elk on there <laughs> maybe some sort of a deer i, I, I can't tell it's like a crossbreed i uh, i'm gonna be honest with you i didn't really study the uh the animal I would that say if packaging it. was taken into account, it's like a 99. Um, I'm not a fan of the packaging. This is 62. That surprises me. I think the antlers are too large on this animal. <laughs> I think it's completely mythical. And on first glance, it looks like something from Tolkien. It does. Yeah. yeah it's Definitely like a, out of the end. Uh, yeah. Like this is half lion head, moose rack, and tree. So it, might, it would start talking to you mm -hmm. and it would freak me yep. out. So this yep. moves down to a 62 if mm. you want to factor in packaging. 99. Down. Mythical little beast. tab up here on the deal. Yeah, the tab. Fancy, again, extravagant. Mm -mm, tab got my yeah. way. I don't mm. want anything getting no, out it's way. in your way. You want to rip it off? <laughs> you want to rip it off like you did the basil? Hmm? Basil? I think it's basil. No. You say tomato? I say tomato. It's the Scotch Test Dummies. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. dummies. I commented two years one of those guys said well, I want the guy in the hat I think it's Bart let Scott talk a little bit <laughs> <laughs> on the, end, the last one about yeah. the coffee cup yes <laughs>